You are listening to the Bad Boy Radio Show with Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. This is that real shit, not that fake shit. The only radio show that's not afraid to tell you the truth about the game. This is the Bad Boy Radio Show. Remember, the truth is inside you. Yo, what up? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. What's what up? Poppin'? It's the Bad Boy Show. Miles Cunningham, Mr. Locario in the place. You feel me? Um, Word. So today's show, the topic we're going to be talking about, why most women are so difficult, okay? Because... I got a lot of emails from dudes that just like, yo, these chicks out here are crazy. You know, I experience it. Miles experiences it. You know, we know this is happening. So we, we just got to shed some light on, you know, why shit is so difficult. You feel what I'm saying? But um, before we get into all that, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to be talking about some news. And then we're going to get into the topic. And we're going to do what we do. All right. So you're listening to The Bad Boy Show. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step by step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com. Yeah. We are back. We are back on the Bad Boy Show. Yeah, man. So, man, there's there's uh, it's a couple of goofy shit in the news. You know, it's it's funny. I'll be like trying to look for, you know, news stories, and it's just a lot of goofy shit. I'm like, what's going on in life? <clears throat> my, my America is America's pretty goofy right now. Pretty much. Pretty much. America's so we're gonna, pretty. <laughs> we got to talk about some news. <laughs> The closer Donald Trump gets to the presidency, it's like... Exactly. <laughs> the true colors like are, are, is, are coming out. If this is any indication of what life is going to be like in America, if this motherfucker becomes president, then you, it's, you know... <laughs> Pretty much it's bad. It's terrible. So yeah. so in the news, man, you do uh, George Zimmerman. Uh, he's selling his gun that he used to kill Trayvon Martin. Okay. So he's, nice. he's putting that up for auction. So, um, people are, are, you know, people are upset. People are mad. And I had, a, there was a rumor. I don't know if this, how true this is or not, but I think he was on some site and the, the bid went up to like $65 million for this gun. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just like, really? Like, is that really happening? Is this really going on? Like, this dude, you know what's crazy? Imagine, okay, imagine this, right? Imagine this, right? You got George Zimmerman, right? Some, just some dude from wherever. He fucking kills this kid. He gets off from killing this kid, and then let's say he actually sells his gun for millions of dollars. So now he becomes a famous millionaire for killing a kid. Like you, you understand what I'm saying? Because like, right. he's famous right now. Like George Zimmerman is famous. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like this dude, like everybody knows who this guy is. You feel what I'm saying? And then so now on top of the fame, they're going to give this guy money. You feel what I'm saying? Like, uh, it just, you know, like, it, like if, if, if I was, if I was a, if I was a person that didn't really care mm-hmm. about my life and my plans and, and right. my ambitions, I would try to get the gun or find somebody that got the money to bid on it, get the gun mm-hmm. and go kill that nigga myself and then spend the rest of my life in jail. <laughs> That's what I would do. It's and crazy. then, and then I would, I'll, I'll say that, right? I'll right. say that. But then on the flip side, mm-hmm. based again on the way the world or this world is, mm-hmm. I'm not even mad at him because right. you, you, just like you said, like he's famous for killing a black kid. Right. Like, right. And you think about it. Same. What is the what is the main like what is the main uh like the main uh what, what do you call it the main component of fame right is is the people right exactly exactly you understand what I'm saying it's the people mm-hmm. like nobody nobody you know if if we were sensible people who would what, like change the channel 
or turn our nose up or have nothing to do or say when it comes to uh, George Zimmerman or any of that shit. Right. And 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 literally like just have a shameful, you know, disposition as as the people. Mm-hmm. Couldn't he wouldn't be able to open his mouth and be saying all this shit? You right. See what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. But because because we're as I mean, think, look, the fact that George Zimmerman is famous shows you that the people of this society are just as fucked up, if not more fucked up, than George Zimmerman himself. Ooh, real talk. So I'm not even, I'm not mad at the nigga. Like, <laughs> he, knows, he knows the debauchery of our society. Mm. So he's like, I'm sure these motherfuckers will pay millions for this, for this fucking gun. Right. I'm sure of it. Right. Hey, watch, watch. I bet you he was having a, a fucking drunk conversation with one of his own boys. Like, man, I should fucking take this gun and put it up on auction and see how much these motherfuckers want for it. <laughs> and he's like, you know what? Let's try it. <laughs> and then, you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's it ain't... true. It's true. And it's... then, and then, just like, just like clockwork, niggas is bidding. You, like, if everybody in the world saw that shit and just clicked to another website and said, fuck. Fuck George Zimmerman and his, mm-hmm. and his, you know, his his bid for his gun. Right. Like if nobody's bidding, he got to take the bid down. You know right. What I mean? Exactly. 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 But people are bidding. People are supporting the bullshit. So mm. here we are. And and you know they have these like Illuminati rumors talking about like his his dad George Zimmerman. I'm not George Zimmerman. Trayvon Martin's dad was like uh, a Mason, and he was supposedly uh, he 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 sacrificed. Trayvon Martin for some Illuminati craziness, and I'm like, ah, God, come on, guys, come on. It's like, <laughs> <'cause> like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, this shit is it's just too crazy. But I'm just like, yo, it's so funny. But the shit that always kills me is that, like, you know, a dude like I'm, I'm just shocked that George Zimmerman. Actually, I'm not shocked. I'm, I'm. It's like the fact that he's still walking around like it's nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Right. You would think, right. You would think all the shit that people be talking, especially these these gangster rappers out here, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. you would think one of them would be like, yo, I'm about to do something. You feel what I'm saying? You know, they, they talk about it all in their lyrics. They, they you know, how come Birdman ain't come in and holler at this dude? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, right. Like, none of these dudes. Right. He, he, Birdman ain't running up, you know, requesting respect for Trayvon Martin's name. You know? Exactly. It, exactly. It's not happening. It's exactly. not happening. Exactly. Nobody ain't say because I haven't heard anybody in the media say anything to George Zimmerman. You feel what I'm saying? About right. this whole shit. Like, nobody. Ain't nobody said nothing. I'm like, that's crazy. Like, not one person was like, you know, this is despicable. Right. We should not even be reporting this. Right. This is horrible stuff. George Zimmerman is an asshole, and no one should pay attention to it. Right. Not one person is going to say that, son. Not one person. <laughs> oh, man. See, this is, this is the world we live in, people, man. You got you to you see what's going on, because they're talking about, yo, you know, go to school, get your education, study hard, and be nice to people, but this nigga fucking just shot somebody, and he's famous, and he's about to be rich. I mean, what would you do if you're like, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> what example is being set? Yo! You know what I mean? like, it don't make sense. <laughs> it don't make sense. You mean all I gotta do is kill me a young black guy, and I can be famous and rich? Exactly. Like, that's that's what? what's going on. Because you know what I always thought. You know what I always thought. About like, you know, like when you watch movies and shit and they always show the bad guy lose. You feel right. what I'm saying? Right. It's bullshit because look at what happens in, in, in actual reality. The right. good guy loses and the bad guy always wins. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So they're trying to condition you to be the good guy. You see what I'm saying? Don't be that evil villain because he's go- he's gonna lose and he's his shit is gonna be fucked up. So they're trying to make you be the good guy, you know, be all complacent, be all nice and and docile, and you know, turn the other cheek. You feel what I'm right. saying? So right. so so while you're doing that, I could fuck you in the ass and take your money and your life and everything. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. That's, that's how they do in life, man. I'm telling you. That, that's <laughs> why. That's this is exactly why you have to become. A bad boy. <laughs> exactly. Bad boy member. Sign up today, goddammit. It's for way real, more real. serious than just getting pussy. Like, real sign real. up, man. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. It's like, shit. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. But anyway, in other it's news. Like now, it's like now being a bad boy ha- has more to do with fucking waking up and being conscious than right right than anything else you exactly, know what i'm saying like exactly. truly 
truly understanding the game and right. all of all parts of the game, right. not just women, exactly. not just women, all parts of the game. Exactly. Now, real talk, man. Real fucking talk. So, in other news, this is th- these other stories aren't even important, but we're going to talk about them anyway. So, uh, Tyga, the rapper, and Kylie Jenner, the you know uh, Kim Kardashian's sister cousin. I don't know what the fuck she is. Anyway, but she's down with them, and so they supposedly broke up. It's a rap for these niggas. You feel what I'm Aww. saying? <laughs> oh really? Oh no! no but oh you know, my god! No, but you know what the, the fucked up part is is that see, Tyga was supposed to get her pregnant. You feel what I'm saying? He fucked up. Right. He fucked right. up. You feel what I'm saying? So he's supposed to put a seed in that so he could you know dabble into that into that money they got. You feel what I'm saying? So but wait could, a second, wasn't wasn't she? she oh, is she of age now? Is she eighteen? Yeah, now? she she just turned eighteen, I think. So. Oh okay. Yeah yeah yeah. So. yeah he should have he should have hit that. He should have hit that and just skeeted in it and been like, oops, my bad. Anyway, let's have this baby. <laughs> and- but then again, then again, then again, <laughs> I, I don't really know how much money Kylie Jenner actually has. That granted is true, she, though. That granted, is true. she is related to the Kardashians and they have a lot of money, but right. there's no real, you know, I mean, I, you know, of course, they, of course, they're going to probably bequeath some type of money to her, but. As far as getting her pregnant, there's no guarantee of a direct benefit for any man who gets her pregnant. Right, that is true because it doesn't necessarily you, know you don't saying? necessarily know if she actually got money. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. She could be part of the family, but that don't mean like like they could be breaking her off money, but they you know could be giving her like an allowance or some shit. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So it is. Right. It ain't like it's you know Kim Kardashian or Kim Kardashian you know is technically, you know, making money. You feel what I'm saying? Like, she's the star. Exactly. She's the one that got, you know, some paper. This because chick... remember, they're, they're, they're well-versed in all that type of ratchetness. So they mm-hmm. they they know, you know, Tiger's game before he even, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> so, you know, so who knows? He probably was like, fuck it, you know, whatever. But damn, like, it's crazy because this nigga was hanging out with her for like a year or two while she was underage. And then she just turned. I just hope he at least hit it a couple times. I, I know he had to hit it a couple times. Right. At least he, did, he, he hit it, and it's it's a wrap. You understand? That, that's all. That's all you really need to do. So it ain't really nothing. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't really nothing. You still you still rich. You still a rapper. You could you still could fuck all these other you know goofy chicks out here. Just you know, and you'll be fine. Right. You feel what I'm saying? That's yep, yep. that's what it is. What it is? But this other story, I thought this was like interesting. So you do Justin Bieber, right? This nigga said he is done taking pictures with fans because he said he feels like a zoo animal. He is like people. He said people don't even come up to me and and say hi. They just automatically like snap pictures and treat me like an object and blah, 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 blah. You feel what I'm saying? So 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 if you see Justin Bieber in the street, okay, give that nigga five feet. Okay, just just back the fuck up. Put some respect on his name. You feel what I'm saying? And, and just keep it moving, cause he ain't he ain't he ain't with the he ain't with that. You feel what I'm saying? He's like he's done with y'all niggas <laughs> treating him like an exhibit and shit. You feel what I'm saying? But the thing is this, yo, I'm like, okay, but you're you know you're Justin Bieber, son. Come on, like this is what you right. asked for, my nigga. Like I don't know right. what to tell you. Like you actually, you technically are a zoo animal. You feel what I'm saying? You, you pretty much are. You're a high sized fucking attraction at a fucking circus. Right. <laughs> like, seriously, don't. See, and that's the, that's the part that kills me. That's right. the part that kills me. I, I, okay, I can, I can, I can empathize mm. or sympathize. Whichever one is the one where <laughs> I don't really know what he's going through. Right. But I, I kind of understand. Right. I think it's sympathize. I think it's sympathize. Anyway, I can sympathize with um. I have to go look that shit up because that's important. But <laughs> I can I can sympathize with how he feels because I mean it must be it must be pretty fucking ridiculous and overwhelming right. for people to not even like acknowledge you as a person and want to take pictures with you and blah blah blah. However, right. That's what that's like, nigga. You can do literally whatever you want in this world, mm-hmm. like. You can literally get Starbucks to to put a Starbucks in your house. Right, exactly. Like you can, li- like there are stars out there that literally have a Starbucks with a crew of people, with mm-hmm. a crew of baristas, making coffee 
at their at at their order. Do you understand what right, I'm saying? Right. Exactly. These are the things that you have the freedom to do, and this is the cost of that. And right. you just gotta be realistic, B. Like right. just be realistic about your situation and what it is. Like right. you say you you say you want to be a famous, you know, pop star. This is what that life entails. Don't be a bitch. Right. Don't be a bitch, dude. I mean, I, got, I know many people call you that, but, you know, you don't have and, to prove them, right? Yeah, and that's the trade-off, though. That's the trade-off. Like, you yeah. got millions of dollars. You you know, you, you've you been promoted like crazy. So this is how people are going to react when they see you. And, all. It, you know, to me, I would have been like, listen, man, like, every time I go out, I'm shaking hands. I'm kissing babies. I'm smiling. I don't, care, I don't care how upset I am. I don't care what mood I'm in. Nigga, you better listen, start. Listen, <laughs> if... If he's really that upset, my only thing would be, the only thing I would switch on it is to have a nigga with me. Right. And they pay for the pictures, mm-hmm. my nigga. Right, right. Exactly. Like, you know, you know, like them, you know, like them Insta cameras where the, the Polaroid picture comes out or mm-hmm. set up some type of shit where it's like a Wi-Fi camera right. where it's automatically emailed to the person mm-hmm. right. and they and they 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 do a like a paypal transfer or something like right. you, you have that paypal it, thing on your phone you just swipe yeah like, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah swipe that shit real quick if you're so you know what i'm saying like if it's such a big deal right. then be like you know what fuck this i'm gonna capitalize on this shit because mm-hmm. y'all motherfuckers not even acknowledging me as a person right i'm gonna I'm make some extra money and i'm gonna make that money my money fuck the fuck the you know the the the, the record company and, and all that. Shit. Right. <laughs> this is going to be my extra extra you know little Justin Bieber money just for myself. Right. And I would take I would be taking pictures like a motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. Because <right. laughs> sooner or later they would get mad at me because they realize I'm making more money taking pictures than I am singing. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even do concerts no more. I just walk out my house right. with my cameraman nigga with the Wi-Fi camera. Uh huh. Just yo twenty dollars, twenty dollars, or fifty dollars, whatever it exactly. is. Exactly. Like, what? what? Yo, you you, you could make like a damn near like a hundred grand a day you know what? What I'm just... and every picture goes to my instagram then i'm gonna start calling up uh, uh fucking fashion designers and i'm gonna wear particular clothes right you understand in the and, pictures and, and right in the fucking pictures and and up the pricing what you, nigga come on son <laughs> justin bieber's a bitch that's a bitch nigga right there so i'm like yo you and you in a perfect position to either to either just suck it up or or make even more money, and you over there pitching. Like That's a what girl. I'm saying. I'm like, dude, dumb like, motherfucker. You, you man. in the in the serious business? Because look, I remember when when I you know when I did that, I love New York shit, right? And and it was like big at the time, and you know I had my 15 minutes, and I was walking up in the street, and niggas was losing their minds and taking pictures and going crazy and all of that. And it's like, I was like, yo, this shit is like serious. Like I was like, this shit is intense. But I'm like, yo. At the end of the day, at least like the difference between what I was doing and what he was doing was my bank account wasn't like his. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, nigga, I would have been like, yo, let's do this every fucking I would have that in my schedule. Like I would have scheduled me walking outside and and fucking taking pictures. Like that would be like yo, on the fucking schedule. Nigga, imagine imagine he could he could tweet. He could tweet where he's gonna be. Right, right. He could tweet. He like, and and George, so you know how much he's such a dick. He's such a fuck. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. You could choose. You could literally choose any like club mm. in this in whatever city you're in. You could choose the club. Right. And fucking strike a deal with them and right. be like, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet that I'm gonna be at this club for two hours taking pictures. Right. You have to pay me fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. And so I'm getting fifty thousand dollars from the venue because it's bringing attention to the venue. Mm-hmm. And, and and these numbers that I'm throwing out is probably even chump change to what he could probably really get. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But let's just say fifty thousand dollars, or let's just say a hundred thousand dollars. I'm gonna be there for two hours. Right. So I'm making money off the pitches. I'm making money off the venue. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be wearing the newest Sean John shit. So, Diddy, send the fucking check because I'm going to be at the spot wearing your new jacket right. in, you know, downtown at 3 o'clock today. Like, what? Exactly. Get the fuck out of here. He's stupid. He's stupid. That nigga is fucking hey, ass. And the thing he got to understand is, yo, you got to take advantage of this shit at this point, my nigga. Because, That's what I'm saying. Yo, there's going to be another Justin Bieber come out whenever. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 you're gonna fall off, and niggas ain't gonna care about you anymore. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be the same. So I would be like, take it like every fucking moment. I'll be taking advantage of this shit and getting the shit popping. But you know, yo, <laughs> when when Jimmy Iovine is tired of fucking you in your ass, mm-hmm. 
that's when you're going to wish you took some some more pictures, Exactly, nigga. exactly. That's you understand? When, when, when Quincy Jones is done tossing your fucking salad and <laughs> is tired of you and has moved on to the next young white pop star, mm-hmm. you're going to wish you took some more pictures, homie. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, but, you know, hey, it, you know, it is what it is. That's how, you know... He he he's I guess he's just he's just tired all this he's tired of all the shit, man. He's he's seen too he, much. <laughs> you, you know what it is? You know what it is? It's that white privilege, man. He right. thinks cause he white, he he deserve a little bit better than than other pop stars and shit. Get right. the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> you think what well, you think you deserve better than 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 uh, a nigga like Michael Jackson or anybody mm. else? Like right. come on, man. Come That's on, crazy. man. I'm Justin Bieber. I, I shouldn't feel. I shouldn't have to feel this way. I'm. I'm being objective. You see that. You see how the the whole feminine, right, the feminine right. nonsense is infecting everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm being objectified because that's all he's really saying. Right. Right. The whole shit about feeling like he's an animal in the zoo. He's he's saying that he's feeling objectified. Right. Like he's a piece of meat. He sounds like a fucking feminine. Exactly. All that shit exactly. is infecting. It's it's infecting the psyche of everything and everyone. Right. Man. Because because instead of looking at this shit as a as a business, you know what I'm mm. saying, and and making as much money as he can, not just and not even just you know like oh I just want a whole bunch of money because you know he probably he's worth like hundreds of millions of dollars or whatever. But the more money you got, the more you can fucking help other people. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. So you could be like yo, all these all this yo, money I take for these yo. pictures. I'm donating it to this cause and that cause or whatever, whatever. What? <laughs> you see what, what? I'm saying? <laughs> see what that I'm would, saying? Yo, and that would fucking that would change his whole that would change his whole persona, and mm-hmm. everybody would love him more or whatever right. it is. Like, right. oh my god, this would be such a great guy, and I felt so great, you know, you know, paying him for that picture because I know he was gonna do something good with the right. money and exactly. blah blah. <laughs> you see? What you, I'm see? <laughs> you see? This nigga. <laughs> fucking Justin B. I, I don't. You see, you, you see what happens when you only concentrate on yourself and you only think about yourself. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like a like a fucking a fucking narcissistic female. You little right. piece of shit. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, that nigga. Yo, <laughs> that nigga got me mad. Man, that nigga got me mad. This nigga's in the is in a crazy position to do to, like you said. He could he could be he could philan- he could philanthropize. Right. Like, I don't know. That's the word, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Like he, he could monetize. He could he could do whatever. He could but do see, whatever. He could, he, he could yo. He could turn it into something so crazy mm-hmm. where he, where he could even like the the the, the, the whole feeling that he's feeling. Right. He could even change. He can use it to his advantage to change the social norms of the whole situation. Right. Like right. oh you know when you when you take a picture with Justin Bieber I'm gonna shake your hand I'm gonna ask you your name and I'm gonna create uh, an actual friendship and I want you to follow me on Instagram and blah 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 right, and I'm right. gonna put your picture up and so on and so forth and he could change the whole land he could do so much more than just sitting there feeling butt hurt right <laughs> he could do so much more <laughs> exactly but hey that's what happens. That's what happens when you ain't, you ain't got real niggas in your corner to let you know, you know, what the fuck could be going on. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you it's know, crazy, man. that's crazy. But anyway, uh, it's, 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 it's sad out here. It's sad out here. So I need to hold on. I need to, something I need to say. It's not, it's not, we ain't, we ain't put it on the list for the news, but I just want to point out that black lives matter. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been, I've been seeing some things and all the facts have been, you know, kind of panning out based on research but black lives matter is a a white funded Mm -hmm. lesbian organization lesbian where'd you you hear that from (laughs) this is what this is what i'm getting oh this is what i'm getting black lives matter that almost has nothing to do with actually helping black people in the helping black men from getting killed in the street it has more to do with like LGBT rights and acceptance. Oh wow, that's crazy. Now, look, I'm I'm saying this not because it's necessarily true. This is allegedly speaking, but these are the things I'm hearing with the research I've done. I'm saying it because I want niggas to go do their own research. Right. Like I heard you know I heard what about I heard about Black Lives Matter being funded by some white dude or something. That, that's what I remember it's, seeing it's, and hearing. It's funded. It's funded by white people, but the 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 chair the, the chairmen, so mm. to speak, are are black lesbian females. Wow, that's crazy. And when they and when they give when they give speeches, they yeah they talk about you know black people being killed in the street, but then they also 
trying to throw in trying to throw in the gay shit, right? Yeah, See? right. They now, think they slick. I saw, <laughs> I saw this one video. I saw this one video. I'm gonna get. This is I don't know. I forgot this, this dude. His name is like. Oh man, I forgot the dude's name. But he's like he's one of them up in Harlem, up in Harlem, you know, bookstore niggas that be chilling with Professor Griff or whatever. Right. And he was having, they were having a meeting, mm. and they actually allowed for, you know, an LGBT member to sit in in the meeting, and then, then she raised her hand and she had something to say. Right. So she started talking up, she started talking, it's like it was so slick the way she did it, mm. but she started talking and talking and talking and talking. And she, she mentioned, you know, the Trayvon Martins and the, you know, the the um the Ferguson and the Baltimore, and then she started talking about how, uh, um, homosexuality. They're putting chemicals in water in 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 low income neighborhoods right. to de- decrease and diminish homosexuality. Right. Oh wow. And I, when she said that, that's the, when she was talking, and she said that that made me that made my ear perk up because, as far as I know, they're trying to increase homosexuality. So I ain't never heard right. of no. They putting stuff in the water to try to decrease homosexuality. Right. And then she said, she she made a statement and she, you know, we just, she's like, I just want you guys to accept, you know, that, you know, that there's a place for uh, homosexuality and lesbianism. And, and right at, as soon as she said accept, mm. it's like every dude in the spot, st- they stopped it. They was like, accept what? <laughs> what do we need to accept? And remember, it was just like maybe two episodes ago, I spoke about the word acceptance mm-hmm. when she used that word it's like because they were giving her a chance to, to, to plead her case and do whatever she wanted to do right. but when she used that word accept right every nigga in the spot was like yo hold on hold on hold on except what what are you talking about yo you know they kicked her out the fucking meeting wow yeah the dude said the dude said sister um you know we you know we we got love for you and everything like that but right um, based on the, the stuff you just said, we realize that your agenda has nothing to do with ours, and we would like right. you to leave the meeting. And 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 one dude started to say something, and the dude was like, "Nope, don't say nothing until she leaves. We can say everything we got to say after she leaves." Right. And I was like, "Okay, okay." And it, you know, it turns out that she was a, she was like a, a part of the Black Lives Matter situation. So right, it's just something that I want to put out there because we haven't really touched on it, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure if people are really doing research on it because you 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 listen to the title of the of the of the of the of the organization. It's called Black Lives Matter, but mm. so you automatically assume, oh yeah, they're you know they're trying to make sure that they, they the violence in the streets against young black unarmed kids and blah 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 right is it, 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 that's their main priority. But there's a lot more going on to it than than what we think. So I just wanted to put that out there for cats to go do their own research. Right, damn, that's some that's some crazy shit right there. That's some crazy. I'm telling shit. you, they, you know, I'm telling you, they trying to make everybody put aside. Let me tell you something, son. Women, women are crazy and this and that and that and this. But as long as you got game mm-hmm. and you got resources, right. you can control women. That's why they're trying to make everybody like women. Right, right, <laughs> exactly. Because the the nigga that got the nigga that got all the resources and pretty much all the game is a white man, son. Mm-hmm. Right, it's true. It's true. It's a real talk. It's a real talk. But a lot of people don't even peep that. That's that's the sad part. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> that is the sad part. Oh my goodness. But anyway, before we before we go on a break, um, real quick, I'm gonna try to let me answer one of these subscriber emails. Oh, let me see yeah. real quick. Um, so this dude he sent a long email. So I'm a, I'm a paraphrase what he basically was saying because it's really long (laughs) so basically he was saying that you know he was having issues approaching women while they're moving meaning like you know he's out in the street they're walking past him they're walking somewhere and he was saying like it's easier to you know approach a chick if she's like sitting down somewhere or she's just standing or waiting or whatever but he was asking how do you approach a chick when she's walking how do you stop her? Like, what are the things you do? You feel what I'm saying? So basically what I was saying is, you know, the, the easiest ways to do this is you walk in, you walk in front of her and stop her, or you walk on the side of her, or you walk, you walk on the side of her with her as she's walking and talk to her. You understand what I'm saying? So right. a lot of times what's going to happen is, is that there's going to be chicks who they're going to be, you know, they're just going to keep walking. You understand? 
and right. they're going to like ignore you or they'll walk and talk with you. Or if you stop them, um, you, you know, if you stop in front of them and they stop, that's already a good sign that they're actually, you know, somewhat interested because they actually stopped. You feel what I'm saying? So right. if you are walking and you see a girl walking towards you and you and you stop her and all you really got to do is walk in front of her and be like, hey, hold on for a second. Stop for a second. And then if she stops, then you start talking to her. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And her stopping is a good sign that she's actually somewhat interested in even talking to you because girls, if they're not interested, they're not going to really stop or they're going to probably pause for a second and then sort of keep going like, oh, I got to I'm in a rush. I got to do this. I got to do that. Blah, 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 blah. So, you know, the good thing about actually with a chick who's on the move is that if she does stop or if she does talk to you while you're walking with her and she seems like she's not trying to get away from you, that's a good sign that she's, you know, interested. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, if the yeah. girl, if the girl's like trying to run away, she's trying to get away. She's trying to make up all these excuses like, oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. You know, that shows low interest. So that's one, you know, that's a good, I guess that's a positive thing you can see in that situation. So all you got to do is really walk on the side of them or walk in front of them and stop them. And then while you have them, you start, you know, having a conversation and everything like that. Cause in the email he was saying, you know, he, he is scared of, or he was nervous of looking like, um, you know, a street harasser or something like that. You see, like they got y'all thinking about it. I mean, he shouldn't necessarily be nervous, right. but it, it's something that he should, you know, consider. Right. Um, right. And, you know, to that point, I would say, you know, all of those techniques you just described are good. Right. However, if you find yourself, like, there's a, there should be a limit. You should right. give yourself a limit. Like, if, if, if she's walking at a certain speed, then you start walking with it. If you find that she starts walking faster mm. to the point where you feel like you're trying to keep up with right. her, just cut that shit short. Exactly. Like, you have to, in these situations, you have to really be... You have to be. You have to notice a lot. You have to pay attention to what's really going on, mm -hmm. and you know, and know know how know how to take the cues. You understand? Right, right. You know, so if you, you if you if you if he if she's walking along and then you start walking with her and you see that both of y'all speed is just about the same, and or she might even slow down. Slow a little down, bit right? So she could actually, you know, hear what you're saying. Then that's a good thing. But if you find that you kind of like chasing or trying to keep up or let that shit go, bro. Because right. that's when that's when they can consider the whole situation harassing. Right. And it's gonna whatever. be it's so, gonna be an issue exactly. So yeah, you have you definitely got and that that goes along. And I've I've always talked about this too. That goes along with you sort of um you know reading the the situation and reading the vibe. So that's why I always right. tell guys like it's it's important not just to talk to a lot of women because you get your numbers up, but also to talk to a lot of women and interact with a lot of women because then you'll start to become more, uh, you know, no, you'll notice more, uh, certain signals and signs that'll let you Body know, like, yeah, yep. like, okay, this chick is on some BS or this chick's not feeling it or whatever, whatever, or the chick is feeling it. She's not, you know what you understand? So you got to notice those things in order to like, you know, make sure that you're going in a good direction instead of trying right. to keep it going because you feel like you're so, Oh, I got to make sure she stops. I got to make sure not nah, just you like, you got to do your part, which is, you know, you, you, you try to stop her or you're walking with her. And then after that, after that part is done, you reevaluate, right. you feel what I'm saying? You say, okay. Also, if, also you know. what you could try to do too is, you know, work on your mouthpiece game and mm -hmm. ask her questions that will, kind of cue her to stop right right I, I i don't necessarily have any any with me now maybe maybe you could use like directional or neighborhood things or like right. ask her for directions and point in the opposite direction of what she walked in because then maybe that would kind of you know compel her to have to stop to right. say to her well which way is such and such and blah 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 like mm. i don't know i'm just saying like use use the techniques as far as asking a question or opening with a uh, something that will kind of force her to stop. Right. Because, or, because the thing is in in those situations, yeah, yeah. In, in those situations, it's, 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 um, it's, it's about timing because also you want to make sure that you, when you stop her or you start talking to her, you have like seconds to keep, to get the attention. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And to keep right. it. And to, you know, and to keep it going. So it's, it's one of those things that it's good practice while you're doing it, because while you're doing it, you can sort of like, you know, get that, uh, situation or you'll be in those situations more. So you'll know what to do more as you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Yeah, man. Also, I just want to put it out there real quick. 
right. that um, in some states, like literally, like when you touch a person and stop their 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 flow of motion, mm. in some states that is actually considered kidnapping. Really? Oh shit! <laughs> yes. No, 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 no. I'm and this is I'm being very serious. If, if if a person is walking or if you're having a conversation with a person and you grab them mm. to hold them, oh right, to right, stop yeah. them from walking right. away from your personal space, right. That is considered kidnapping. Like kidnapping, if you go look up the the, the definition, it it literally just has to do with imposing your force and holding a person in place to your desire. So that could mean right. you tying them up and putting them in a warehouse, but it could also mean you stopping them from being free to move as they wish. You right. understand what I'm saying? Right. So that's something to be careful with too. Like, so try to, you know, in this particular situation, try to do everything with your words. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Or, I thought, I thought or you even meant, if you, I, I thought you meant that, that it's kidnapping. If you just tell them to stop and then. They stop. Oh <laughs> so, no, 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 so no, 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 If no, you no. grab them and stuff. You so yeah. Like, so you, I'm just, I'm just saying to him, like, be careful. Right. Cause sometimes you might be compelled to at least like, you know, you sometimes you, you touch a girl lightly on her right. arm and or whatever. Be like a thing. Right. Right. right, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Keep that shit in mind because if you if you grab and hold somebody from walking or moving freely as they wish, that is considered kidnapping in some states and in some jurisdictions. So right. that's just something else to 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 consider. Like if you if you was if you were walking next to her and then you kind of like cut her off and stood in front of her to stop her from walking, that's something different. Right. But if you actually touch her, like grab her arm, and be like then, come here, hold on for a second, yeah. don't move, don't hold on for a second. <laughs> And all that now, nah, right? You don't exactly. Really you want to do that? that. Exactly. You, really want to do that. you got. You got to be careful out here. You feel me? You definitely yeah, got to be careful out here. Well, listen. So we're gonna we're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, uh, we're going to talk about the topic, which is, you know, why most women are so difficult. You feel what I'm saying? So we'll be back on the Bad Boy Show. <laughs> Do you want to learn the easiest way to have more sex with more women? Then get the critically acclaimed book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. In this book, you'll learn everything you need to know about attracting and sleeping with beautiful women. That's How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. Get your copy today at MrLocario.com. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com. MrLocario.com. Are you an actor who needs headshots? Do you have an event or a wedding coming up and you need a photographer? If you do, make sure you go to pavionphoto.com. Pavion is a professional photographer who will supply you with high quality video and photography services for any event. Contact him at pavionphoto.com. That's P A V I O N photo.com. Pavionphoto.com. Yeah. We're back, people. All right, all right. So, you know, the topic is why most women are difficult. Why are most women so difficult? You understand? What what the hell is going on? Why do you have to deal with the nonsense all the time? Okay? And the more you the more that you uh you know deal with women, right? the more you'll understand, but you'll never really understand. It's kind of like, it's kind of like being a mathematician. You understand? Like the more you do math, you might know more math than the average person, but there are those math problems that no one has ever solved. You feel what I'm saying? And you're just not going to know. You feel what I mean? So it's like that shit, but it's just trying to kind of understand why it is what it is. You feel what I mean? So that you don't like get confused or you don't, you know, um, sort of, kind of take it personally when chicks be on some bullshit you feel what i'm saying right so you gotta you gotta know why you know this shit is difficult sometimes right and so you know i got a couple of things here and one of the things that you know i noticed as one of the main reasons why women nowadays are are, are super difficult is because of feminism mm. you feel what i'm saying like just real talk you know what i mean like because the whole concept of this, you know, feminism thing and feminists and all this other stuff, you know, it's it's on on the surface. They try to make it seem as if, oh, it's just about women, you know, being treated with with 
human rights and all this other stuff. Yeah, it's about <laughs> equality. Right, you know what I'm saying? But, but the thing is, what feminism has turned into in, into a lot in a lot of cases or you know what what a lot of times you see happening with feminism is that they've created a situation where they've taught women or conditioned women to think that they were being oppressed that they were being looked down upon that people are saying you know men are saying oh you're weak or society saying you're weak so feminism came up and was like oh well ladies you know you, you know they're saying you're weak but you should be doing a b c and d and you shouldn't be at home you know following a man or or you know cooking and cleaning and taking care of your kids because that's weak and that's wrong and blah 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 so now you as a guy who is maybe, let's say you, at some point you might want to get married. You might want to have a kid. You might want to have a wife and all that other good shit, right? But then you run into a lot of women in today's society who is basically, they're not, they're just saying, no, I'm not fucking with that. So you as right. that dude, how, you know, it's going to be difficult for you to get that type of shit popping. You feel what I'm saying? Because the thing is women are, women generally are very, like uh they're this they're they're easily influenced you feel what i'm saying this is why uh guys who are good at game can get chicks to basically fall in love with them do some crazy shit you understand what i'm saying because a guy could just spit that shit in her ear you feel what i'm saying and if she's gonna be influenced by what he's saying then she's going to start acting a certain way because he sort of influenced her to do that so society is basically like a big pimp who's you know f- said all this shit into these women's ears and now they're all over the place you feel what i'm saying mm. so so you so it's hard for you to really get shit popping because you know they're they just got confused or they got you know influenced to think a certain way so when you when you go up to a girl and you tell her hey you know i'm, I'm looking for a woman who's gonna be submissive chicks look at you like you're fucking crazy like right. the, the other day i put on facebook i said you know, if a woman, if a woman doesn't follow instructions, then you need to, like I said, if you get with a woman who doesn't follow instructions, you need to, you need to find another woman. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of people is getting mad at that. You understand? A lot of chicks were like, what are you talking about? And what type of instructions? And why are you trying to bully me? And I'm like, <laughs> what type of instructions? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and so, and so like, there's this knee jerk reaction to, any masculinity that you're going to put out there, you feel what I'm saying from women. And that's going to make it difficult for you. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that it's getting harder and harder for you guys out there to find women who are cooperative, to find women who are, you know, who, who know what the deal is to find women who are on some real feminine shit It's getting harder and harder because a lot of women have been tricked into thinking that being a female is, is weak. You feel what I'm saying? And so since they think that, then it's going to be a little bit more difficult for you. You feel what I mean? So, you know, that shit is, it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's, it's a sad state of affairs. It's, 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 we're in the feminist age right now. And I, I, I feel, I really feel bad for, for a lot of you guys out there. I really do. This is why we say you got to join the bad boy membership. God damn it. Okay. Cause it's tough. Okay. It's yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. It's tough. Another th- another thing I have on his list is why uh you know women most women seem difficult is that society has tricked women into thinking that they are smarter than men, right? <laughs> now I'm not saying men are smarter than women, but I'm not saying women are smarter than men. You see what I'm saying? I right. you, and see that's the thing with us. We don't we're not here talking about you know like when we talk this shit we're uh, and this is what i noticed about me uh, me and miles is that we we look at shit objectively we're not just like oh you know yeah these women ain't shit and men are the best and we're better than we're not i'm saying society has tricked women into literally thinking that men are dumbasses and that they are smarter and we they have to like you know they just have to put us put up with us dumb men that's what they got to do you feel what right. I'm saying? And I, yep. I hear this. Yep. I see this all the time. There was an article actually the other day that came out um, and I shared it on my Facebook page. I thought it was hilarious. And it said something like 21 reasons as to why women have higher IQs than men or some shit like that. You feel what I'm right. saying? So, so, so the thing is, when you put shit out like that, it makes women sort of feel good. You feel what I mean? 
and it makes them fit because you got to understand women generally feel like they feel like men are better than them you got to understand this they feel like men are actually better than them so Mm -hmm. women are in this fight to become equal and or quote unquote better than the man you feel what i'm saying Because they feel like they've been oppressed. They feel like guys are, you know, oh, you want me to be a housewife? How dare you? You know, all that other shit. And <laughs> I'm smarter than you and you're stupid. Like, I, I was dating this girl one time. And literally every time. Pav, you remember that chick? Uh, I forgot her name. Uh, she had the fatty, the white girl I was messing with a while ago. Oh, yeah. And she right, had the right. fatty fatty. And we hung out that one time. And it was like her birthday. And then it was the same day we was we did the photo shoot for Iwante in the, in the middle of the street at night. Oh, yeah. That same day, that white chick. So she, <laughs> so every time we was hanging out, I sw- like I would try to put her up on some, some game. And she swore up and down that she was smarter than me. Everything I told her, she felt like, Oh no, you don't know what you're talking about, and I gotta teach. I gotta teach you the right way because you don't know what you're saying. And blah. like, she literally thought that. Like, you know, we we have a, a friend on Facebook. You know, you know who I'm talking about the 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 hot black chick who who's who's belligerent. I'm not gonna say her name, and she right, writes for right. a, a certain website. I'm not gonna say which website, but she know who she is. You feel right. what I'm saying? <laughs> and this chick literally swears. That she's smarter than me and Miles, like all day. Like she's like, all you guys day. are stupid. And 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 the funny part is, me and Miles never really shit on her. We just talk facts, or we talk like you know, objectively speaking on things. She will literally shit on us, say we're but, dumb. Yeah, she'll attack us directly, right? Attack our character, exactly. our intelligence, everything. <laughs> and it's like, but what about the topic? We weren't we talking about something else, like, right? You feel what I'm saying? Terrible. And so that's what a lot of women do. Where they 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 really feel like they're smarter than men and that's what makes it difficult for you because now you're dealing with a chick who for some reason like she she just she just believes or thinks that how you're thinking is ridiculous because and this is the funny part because I've even talked to to other girls like this that I've dated or whatever where I try to tell them things from the male experience dealing with women and, and, and explain to them why it's difficult sometimes dealing with women. And so I'll either hear you're misogynist. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're just not meeting the right women. You know what I mean? And it's just like, so it's just all this goofy shit. And I'm just like, you're, wow. you're, you're bitter. Right. Exactly. exactly. Who hurt you? Right. All that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So oh, it, it just becomes difficult because you're trying to explain to a woman reality that they don't understand. You understand? It's trying to. It's like trying to explain to a white person racism who just doesn't get it. Do you feel what I'm saying? Right. It's crazy. So you know, it's ridiculous. Anyway, so <laughs> another reason why uh, you know most women are, are so difficult to deal with is because women think that, or no, this 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 is the thing. Men generally aren't upgrading women's minds. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. They're not, which is why a lot of women are difficult at this point. Because truthfully, 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 let's let's keep it a hundred percent real. Let's keep it a million percent real. Truthfully, most dudes, most dudes, I would say all dudes, should at least should at least at least once a day need to tell a woman to shut the fuck up. At least once a day. Mm. At least once a day. You know why? Because. What happens is there's too many guys out here, you know, like they see women, they just want ass. They just want to be in the good graces of chicks. So they will keep their mouth shut and not say anything. And they won't really upgrade a chick. And and the thing is, it's difficult because like we were saying earlier, you try to put a chick on, you try to tell her some shit, but she doesn't want to listen. You feel what I'm saying? She's like, oh, you're oppressing me. She's like, oh, you know, you're, you're being... Uh, you know, misogynistic. So guys are shamed into 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 silence. You feel what I'm saying? But the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, is that you know, if you really, if you really, uh, 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 if it was collectively, men were like really hollering at chicks on some. Look, I'm trying to teach you some shit. They would come around. But the thing is, is too they many would. dudes that's not really fucking doing the shit. You feel what Yo, I'm saying? Per- perfect example. Perfect example. I'm on Facebook the other day. Right. And I see a picture. There's this girl. She put up a picture, you know, just 
she's like in you know around 25 so she didn't hit the wall yet so right she's still feeling herself as far as you know how quote unquote good she looking all this and all that mm-hmm. so she puts up a picture that says um whoever he is is going to be so damn lucky and it says hashtag vegan hashtag i i love myself or some shit like that right right, right. and so i you know I'm looking through the comments. Every dude, every single dude mm-hmm. is like, oh, you so pretty. Oh, you so cute. Oh, yeah, he's really going to be lucky. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, damn. So because I am who I am, I, I write something. I write, well, I said, okay, so that must mean that you're, an, that you're a great cook, an excellent nurturer, a talented lovemaker. And you know how to inspire a, a man to bring out the best in that man. Mm-hmm. So I write. That's what I write. I'm not fucking kowtowing to just to your fucking face because you you cute. I mean, and the girl is cute, but that's not the that's not the important shit. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like you a young girl, and I don't think she has any kids. So a young black female in this society with no kids and is actually like decent looking. Mm-hmm. To me, that's like a fucking natural resource that we need to preserve. You understand? Mm. So that's why instead of just instead of just being like every other fucking dickhead, mm. and yes, yes, I'm I'm saying this because I I wish all of them could fucking hear me. Mm. And if some of you are listening, some of you fucking fucks who every time a bitch put up a picture on Facebook, all you do is compliment her. Yes, I'm talking to you, you piece of shit, <laughs> you faggot. Anyway. So I said I can't I can't just let her slide with, you know, just because I got a cute face he's gonna be so lucky. I need to put something else in the frame uh-huh. so at least I could get a conversation started. Something you know, not one other person even looked at like even liked what I said. The only person that commented on what I said was the girl, was the actual the girl who actually put up the post. But right. not one other person came and checked. Not even a guy to either say. Oh, son, you won't gotta be like that, son. Right. She's just, you know, she's just cute, son, or whatever. Like nobody even engaged me. That's how oblivious everybody is at this point, my right. nigga. Like, right. <laughs> and anyway, the, the girl engaged me, and she said, "Oh, if you, 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 I hope you know how to do all of that. If you requesting all of these things." Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, see how the the the. The thing that shows me how messed up everything is mm-hmm. is the fact that she is asking me if I can provide all those things that that should be requested of her as a woman. Right, right. Now, how how dysfunctional is that? That you would try to equate anything that I bring to a relationship as a man to the things that you bring to the exactly. relationship as a female. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And then me and her got in. You know, we. We got into like a, a back and forth. It wasn't very long, and then you know, basically she ended up blocking me off her shit, and I'm just like, man, wow, see, and 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 and, and I, I I assure you, I was not disrespectful in any way. Like I said, when I saw that she was a young girl with no kids, and like she, you know, she didn't make no major mistakes in her life yet, or how you know it seemed allegedly mm-hmm. looking at her profile. Right. I wanted to say something that could you know could upgrade her level of thinking to where she's not even considering, oh, my cute face is what's going to make some nigga lucky. You right, understand what I'm saying? Right, right. But see, something I, that's, else is, that's something the thing, else is going to make a nigga lucky. Like, take a picture of yourself cooking in the fucking kitchen. Right. Take a picture of yourself taking care of your nephew or something. Mm. Take a picture of yourself, you know, doing something constructive in the house and then say, somebody's going to be lucky when I meet them. Right. Don't, don't, don't just show me a picture of you. I mean... No, because you looking good is not what's gonna make me lucky. Because your looks are gonna fade, bitch. Like your looks right. are gonna fucking fade. So that's not that's not what what that that type of luck is gonna run out early. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The real luck is when me and you could build a fucking family or build something, build a relationship, build a business, build something substantial. You see what I'm saying? Right. But these chicks. You know, that adds to the difficulty because none of them are really on it like that because so many, like you said, so many of these, so many of these dudes 
is placate into the nonsense. Right. Okay? A lot of the, the simps and the manginas and all that other stuff, the the, the quote-unquote male feminist, you feel what I'm saying? The like, male feminist. They, yeah. <laughs> they're always, you know, they're always trying to kiss their ass because they, you know, they want some vagina. You feel what I'm saying? That's really yo, what it man, was yo, down to. I know niggas, not to get too deep into it, but I know niggas right now who claim that they are feminist mm-hmm. and they in fucked up situations right now. Mm-hmm. You understand? Pretty much. <laughs> so don't, yo, <laughs> that feminism shit, be careful with that shit. Mm-hmm. And another thing I want to say too is I, I honestly think that the strip, the strip club culture has spilled over into social media mm-hmm. and the... It's it's like a nigga throwing a dollar in the strip club is like when a nigga hits the like button. Right. <laughs> Pretty much. Because, the, the, because these chicks, they really equate their value to how many likes and reposts and comments, how many, like, you know, you know nice, quote, unquote, nice comments they get from mm. dudes, B. Right. Just and, like how a bitch will scrape up all her money off the stage and be counting her money in the back of the club, be like, oh, I cleaned up tonight. Y'all bitches ain't shit because I, I got the most money. Right. It's the same way these chicks is on social media, right. considering that they're, that that's what makes them worth something. The fact that, you know, 12 niggas commented that they're cute and... 52 other niggas like like the picture. You right. understand what I'm saying? And and that and that's why a lot of them are so difficult because stuff like that makes them think that that is what is going to make them worthy. You understand what I'm saying? So when you're dealing with a girl, she thinks all she has to do is be cute. You feel what I'm saying? And then when she then when she when she ends up fucking this guy and fucking that guy and then those guys are done fucking her, and she's like alone and lonely and she's wondering why, oh, how come, you know, like what's all these men ain't shit, all they want is sex. And they're like, but you missed, you missed the thing that was going on because you thought that all you had to do was be cute. Just like you said that with the chick, with the, with the post, putting that shit up, talking about some guy's going to be lucky getting me for what? Cause you cute. No, you feel what I'm saying? So that's the thing. And then you deal with these girls and then they start acting all difficult and all funny because of all these other dudes that fucked and, and, and bounced. Then you get with her and now she's trying to be on some, oh, I got to get to know you and I got to wait because I don't want to get hurt because I got hurt with these other guys. So now you're dealing with a difficult, uncooperative chick because of what happened with some other dude. And that shit happened with the other dude because she wasn't aware of herself and what she was actually bringing to the table, which was nothing. Right. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So I'm like... And it's, it's ridiculous. And then the, the funny part is, is that when you try to tell women this, it's like they don't want to hear you. And, that, and that's another thing that makes it difficult is that women don't necessarily want to hear good game. They want to hear. See, women don't want to be better. They want to feel better. You understand what I'm saying? Right. That's all. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. See, that's it right there. So and, and my dumb ass, right you understand? <laughs> our our dumb asses are here trying to give women good game. But we should have been like, uh, what's that dude that be doing them videos in the car and he be gassing women's heads up? Um, uh, I forgot his name. Oh, that black I dude. don't know. I was, I'm not even trying to repeat that nigga's yeah, name, no, but I know he's talking about. You know about. what I'm talking about. That simp ass nigga. This that, dude oh, man, talking about, talking about oh, you know, you guys should get with these big girls because I know your mama's a big girl and all this other dumb <laughs> shit. Talk. I'm like, this fucking guy. Yo, so the, nigga, the nigga started out a video the other day with the line. Mm-hmm. He started the video like this, talking about uh, I've been friend zoned so much, I'm starting to like it. Right, right, exactly. That's how he started the video, my nigga. <laughs> but see, that's what happens. You know what I mean? And so, dudes like him, right? He's, you know, he's taking the other route because he he's he's basically a genius. You know why? Because <laughs> he realized that there's a a group of women, not all, but there's a large group of women who are susceptible. To the mm. bullshit. Do you understand yep. what I'm saying? They've, Drinking that Kool Aid heavy. They realize because you know I, I was having a thought the other day, and I and I was saying to myself, I'm like, I actually believe that women will never be able to receive help. Do you understand what I'm saying when it comes to this game? And the reason why is because the help that they need, that shit is 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 heavy. You feel what I'm saying? And so a real woman, if she's gonna actually get help, she has to be able to take 
the the reality of the situation. It's like it's like someone who's out of shape and they got to go to the gym, you know, four or five times a week and get on a heavy diet and work out heavy. You know, doing some P90X shit. Like a lot of y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna make it because y'all ain't gonna be able to go through that shit. So it's the same thing right. with chicks where it's like when you try to give them that good game, they reject it because it makes them feel uh fucked up. It makes them feel. Uh, like damn like this is this is crazy this is too much for me to hear because much, it's, yeah. it's a shock to their yeah. system it's it's right. literally like the matrix like keanu reeves in that scene where <laughs> he's he's like no this can't be this can't be real what's going on like that's how chicks feel when you hit them with and the then game he, yeah the see where he vomits and shit right, right. He, they can't take it <laughs> they can't take they can't shit. take it man <laughs> i mean it, it's true like with you, you, back to the example of the chick on facebook like right you know, granted, she she was feeling herself that afternoon. Mm. Took a picture of her "quote unquote" cute face, and that's honestly that's less to be debated because this right. chick is like mad, basic, regular, decent type shit. Right, you understand? Right, but anyway, right. she so you know she's feeling herself. She took a her little picture. She puts up on Facebook, "Ooh, whoever he is is gonna be lucky," mm. and she just felt good about herself. And right. here I come. <laughs> and then, and then on top of that, you got the rest of these niggas co-signing her, right. her, you know, her bullshit, telling her she cute and so on. Oh yeah, he gonna be lucky and blah blah blah. Right. Even her homegirls are getting on there, so she feels awesome, right? Right. <laughs> then a nigga like me come up on there, like <laughs> I ain't got no pictures. I ain't got no pictures on Facebook of me standing in front of a Benz, or mm. I don't got no pictures on Facebook of me, you know, counting money or making it rain or none of that shit, right? right. I'm just a regular ass nigga with with intelligence and game, right? And I'm and I'm actually trying to upgrade the bitch, right? And I get blocked. <laughs> exactly. You understand? <laughs> like, like <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to upgrade her with real truth and fucking like like wisdom from experience, and right. because I care too, man. Right. Because I fucking give a fuck. Because like I said, she's a young female with no kids, so that means. She hasn't made, she hasn't fully made any crazy mistakes in her life yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to make sure that, you know, like she at understands. least one of us, at least one of y'all niggas could actually do it right. Right. And see, because so many of y'all fuck it up. And that's, that's, that's crazy because, you know, it's like they don't realize you're actually trying to help. But they don't. see, the thing is, is that they, you know, and this is what makes it difficult. This is what makes it, you know, difficult to deal with them is because. It, it, at the end of the day, a lot of times, if you want some, like if you, if you, the, the, I'm going to say it like this, the, the more honest you are, the harder you're going to have to work. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. To, to get right. A, a mass of women. Do you understand? So, but the thing is, is that if you play in her delusion, if you uh, dance with her in her illusions, you feel what I'm saying? Just enough to where you can probably get to smash. You feel what I'm saying? You can do that. But the danger of that shit is, is that what you're doing is you're creating more bullshit for yourself. In right. the you feel what I'm saying? Right. So when you become that guy who's like, hey, you know, I want to find me a good woman, a, a wife. Uh, you know, I want to have a family. If you're that, you know, you want that to happen then, you know, you're participating in making that harder for yourself later on down the line. And you're making it right. harder for yourself, even if you don't even want that. Let's just say you just want a real chick. You just want a chick who understands reality. You just want to date a girl who's actually, you know, uh, understands some real shit. You're going to make it harder for yourself because you're participating in, in, in creating that illusion for her to feel like that's reality. And then what she's going to do is she's going to end up looking at, people like me and you or any other dude who's spitting real shit like we're crazy or we're misogynists because all the other guys all the other simps and manginas aren't saying shit you feel right. what i'm saying so it makes you look like it's like when tiger woods uh uh you know cheated on his um wife or whatever and they were like oh you got to go to rehab and all this nigga everybody's cheating on their wife you understand what i'm saying right this ain't no this ain't no fucking rare shit but everybody's keeping quiet so now it looks like he's crazy <laughs> looks like he has issues you know right. what i'm saying and so that's the thing and it's like and it's funny because this is group in in facebook that i'm on and you know there's a lot of there's a couple women in there and i try to sort of uh hit them with some game you know what i'm saying but the thing is is that when i get when it gets too real 
they like you could feel the fear and the frustration because what happens is that sometimes when you spit real stuff to women, you might have been probably one out of thousands or, you know, it's, it's either been a while or this could be the first time she's actually hearing real shit. You feel what I'm yep. saying? And, yep. and the thing is, it don't come around often. It right. really don't come around often. It don't come around that often. So, so the thing is, is that you're going to get that resistance and she's going to be difficult. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. Because you're trying to just hit her with some reality. You're trying to tell her, Hey, this is how it really goes down. And then she's not trying to hear you. And then the, the sad part is, is that she's getting older, right? Things are going, not going to be as easy for her as she's getting older. And then by the time she wants to listen to you, a lot of times it's too late. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then it's just like, it's a wrap. You feel me? So, you know, yeah, it, it, it gets, it gets difficult out here, man. It gets difficult. And, and a couple more things before we go real quick is, Another thing that makes it difficult for you when you're dealing with women is that so, the thing is women's emotions switch up really quickly. You understand? Right. So it changes like the wind. It son. changes like the wind. Like at, at, at one fifteen, <clears throat> the girl you're dealing with could be all over you. And at one seventeen, she could feel a totally different way. She's not feeling you anymore. And then you're like, Oh, I guess she's not feeling me anymore. And then you're like, all right, I'm, I'm a bounce. And then by one twenty five, she's like, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> And you're like, what the fuck just happened? You know what I mean? And then by one thirty, she she hates you again. So it's like, you know, it's that's why it gets difficult. Yo, I can't tell you how many fucking times as a young man, as right. a young player, as a young player, like right. dealing with females and seeing the mood swings and the fucking nonsensical like actions right. of a person who because it's such a it's such a an illusion they they try to really make you think like you know women are they have it more together than men do right right exactly. but but certain at certain points in time when a female is dealing with her emotions, it's like yo, you really can't you're looking at them like what right right like are you are you are you okay like mm-hmm. like are, like do we need to go see a doctor or something like seriously? Right, right. Yo, it gets really bad sometimes. It gets man. crazy. It gets I'm really telling bad, you. Son. I'm telling you. And so you know, and the thing is, you know, at the end, at the end of the day, you know, what I want to say is, um, you have to sort of just understand at certain points that, like, it's almost like you got to accept certain things. And when I say accept, that doesn't mean you, 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 uh, you know, you take it. What I mean by accept is that you understand. You know what I mean? You right. understand that this is how certain women are. Now you can make a choice to stick around with a woman who gives you so much difficulty. That's up to you or you can bounce. You feel what I'm saying? Or or you can just sort of tailor your game to fit how you want to even interact with any particular woman. You feel what I'm saying? So that can be anywhere from, you know, you might say, Hey, I just want to have sex with girls and not deal with the other shit. You know, I might want to date some chicks. I might want to have a girlfriend, get married, whatever it is. But you understand that certain things are going to happen, you know, when you're dealing with these women, you feel what I'm saying? And, and also like the more that you are in the game, the more that you do certain things, the more, uh, you know, the more things that you will understand about women and it'll be a little bit more tolerable in certain cases because you have that understanding. You feel what right. I mean? Like you'll be, so you just won't be totally confused and think like, oh, you know, it's, it's, you're like, oh, it's just like this chick is crazy. You understand? And then you end up dumping her. Then you get with another chick and you're like, yo, this chick is crazy. Then you what? dump her and get with another one. <laughs> You're like, yo, this chick is crazy. And then at some point, your man has to pull you aside and say, dude, they're all crazy, son. You just got to find crazy. the one who is crazy, you know, the the least amount of crazy you can tolerate and call it a fucking day. You feel what I'm saying? That's it. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. Oh, man. But, um, but yeah, I think we're done for right now. Is there anything else you want to say, Miles, before we get out of here? <laughs> well, I just, I just really want to say, like, dudes out there, like just like sometimes i mean it's cool to appreciate chicks b is i mean right. cuz i'm a, i'm a you know i i do photography and i'm a very visual person and they would they would scientifically they would tell you that most men are uh, right. you understand so i'm not saying there's anything wrong with appreciating beauty but sometimes sometimes like don't man cuz <laughs> it, it because no the reason why i'm saying don't is because we've gone We've gone too far past, 
like, do you remember back in the day where you used to be able to give a bitch a compliment? Right. And it actually, and it actually meant something. Uh huh. We've we've flooded the market with all these likes and 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 and, and reposts and retweets and damn that bitch fine son and right. all of that shit. Like we flooded the market so to the point where nowadays when you come up to a female and be like, yo, I think you kind of cute. It means absolutely it means nothing, nothing to right. her, son. Exactly. It means nothing. So, so that's what I'm trying to say. I'm like, really, really, like, I think men need to really pull back. Like, we need to rein in on on all of that shit and how much attention we actually give these females because right. it's 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 to the point now where none of it means anything anymore. Mm-hmm. None of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got niggas. Yo, you got niggas actually. I mean, think about it, fellas. If niggas actually writing in, talking about, yo, I'm getting ready to move to the South right. for a bitch, mm-hmm. and she's telling me that she don't think she could wait for a nigga for a month. Right. Like, like, just look at that example. Think about that example, how deep that is. Mm-hmm. And understand how much we need to pull back some of this attention and some of the, 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 the praise that we give to a lot of these females for absolutely nothing. Right, right. Because, listen... You, your genetics made you that way. Your genetics gave you big titties, a fat ass, and a cute face. Mm-hmm. You don't even deserve a compliment for that, bitch. Right. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like complimenting, you know, a basketball player for being tall. Like, you don't, you don't compliment. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. How do you compliment somebody for being tall? Right. <laughs> you understand? Uh, real so, talk. So, I mean, there's a difference between appreciating beauty mm-hmm. and fucking simping and telling these things, all going overboard with the likes and telling these chicks how good they look and all of it. Nah, son, pull right. back on some of that shit. Right. Leave that shit for the strip club because that's where it actually, you know, that's where it, it sort of makes sense because she's doing what she's doing. She, you know, she's giving you some attention. You know, she shakes her ass in front of your face, and then you throw the dollars on the stage. Right. That's a, it's a fair, it's a fair exchange. Right. But in in the world of of social media and dating dating sites and all of this shit, even in even in the street, telling the bitch that she look good don't mean nothing no more. So we need to pull back on some of that. So when we actually do compliment a chick, she'll realize, oh, he really thinks I'm a beautiful person, or something. It might mean a little bit more to her. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. But I just wanted to. That's that's the part I wanted to talk about. Real talk, man. All right, so guys, man, make sure you uh. Go to badboymembership.com, become a member. Also, if you want to listen to other, um, you know, bad boy shows, make sure you go to outlooksexynaked.com where you can hear all the episodes. And that is it. We're out of here, man. And we'll see you next time. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. We're gone. Later. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.